Hi guys, I need to make a correction and it's because Earth corrected me. I believe he is right. 1226, it's the windshield wiper blade. I also want to say I replied to Earth's comment and my reply was something like, shoot, I believe you are right. And then I refreshed the page and it's gone. My reply is gone. Gone but I wrote it again, so let's see if it takes. Okay, I'll refresh the page to see if it's gonna stay there. You know, I do appreciate you guys correcting me, and I think that Earth is right. It's the windshield wiper blade. And I said that it was electromagnetic frequencies causing this uh, defined line. Well, um, yeah. Even if it's the windshield wiper blade, does it matter? Listen to this. And listen to Nora O'Donnell. O'Donnell, correct. Michu Kaku, who is talking about lasers bringing down rain and lightning. Lasers now could one day manipulate rain and lightning. CBS This Morning contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at City College of New York. Professor? Nice to see you. Extraordinary seeing Al Gore and Bill Clinton there together with Charlie, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. Yeah, they did not get into this discussion, no. though. <laughs> but it is fascinating. I mean, lasers, really, to change the weather? That's right. Well, as Mark Twain once famously said, everyone complains about the weather, but no one ever does anything about it. Well, instead of doing a rain dance, we physicists are firing trillion watt lasers into the sky to actually precipitate rain clouds and actually bring down lightning bolts. This is potentially a game changer. But this is experimental. It's experiment. But this is experimental. <laughs> really, Nora? So, however, in the laboratory so far it works. When you have water vapor, and you have dust particles or ice crystals, you can precipitate rain. It condenses around the seeds. These seeds can also be created by laser beams. By firing trillion watt lasers, you rip apart the electrons, creating what are called ions, and these ions act like seeds, like dust particles, bringing down rain and even lightning. Katie, go ahead. Well, I, I, this is fascinates me in part because, too, I remember reading the stories that China had used this during the Olympics, that the USSR had used this after Chernobyl to create rain clouds. I mean, w did those really work then? We have some of these capabilities now? Inconclusive. Even in the 60s, the CIA used this to uh, bring down monsoons during the Vietnam War to wash out the Viet Cong. Governments have been playing with this to. thing. Alleged, alleged to. Alleged to. Right. Oh, look at the hand. Alleged to. Michu, you have to say those words. Alleged to, experimental. Wow. In the face of so much evidence, what this woman is doing on mainstream media news is outrageous. It's unconscionable because she's not properly informing her listeners. And that is her main responsibility. But she ain't doing it. Two. Alleged to right. Yeah. Now, alleged to right. We realize that for decades now, these governments have been alleged to have experimented with weather control, but nothing conclusive. This time we're bringing in the laws of physics rather than simply uh, waving our hands and uttering mumbo jumbo. <laughs> we're actually using trillion watt lasers now. And in the laboratory, sure enough, they precipitate rain out of water vapor. Sure enough, you can actually bring down electricity down the, down the beam. So what is it? Voila. It's not alleged. It's not experimental. It is what is happening. Uh, line. It's a...
I'll link below to that newscast with Nora O'Donnell. They are using trillion watt lasers. That's why we're seeing a, a lightning all over. That's why we see lightning in clouds. Their electrical charges. Oh boy. We're in trouble. We just can't seem to get it across to our fellow Americans. And they'd prefer to listen to Nora. Those words, experimental, alleged to. Hey, great. So when you try to tell people that ah, no, this is actually going on, that's why he kept forgetting to say alleged to. Uh, yeah, where are the crazy nutjobs? This time is a very exhausting time that we're living. I'm exhausted. Are you exhausted?